I've been working on a mobile app that works with the Theta SC2 and the Theta V. Uh, this is an extension of the app that was built in the video tutorials that we detailed with the SC2, and you can find all of those at the link here. But um, I noticed that the SC2 has a couple weird things uh, with it compared to the Theta V, and so I just want to run through uh, the API commands that are a little bit odd with the Theta SC2. So first of all, um, the first thing you can do is take a picture. And the SC2 has to process for pretty long. So uh, you can see that I messed up here and uh, it wasn't ready yet, but now I switched. And I'm gonna try to take a video. And the start capture command, unfortunately, does not work with the data SC2 as it appears. You can see I got a little error message there. Interestingly though, when I hit the take picture command, um, that ended up starting the video, which is pretty unusual. The stop capture command works as expected, so that was fun. Now, going on, uh, note that the camera is in movie mode, and I'm gonna go and run the state command, the info command, and I'm going to list the camera options, and all three of those commands work. Now, the last thing that I'm gonna do is toggle the HDR, and you can see that command was successful. No errors in the command prompt. So now with the theta v, uh, I'm just going to run through those same commands and show you where they're the same and a little bit different. Uh, let's go into toggle to video. That's fine. And if I hit the take picture, nothing happens. It actually returns an error message, uh, which is as expected because it is in video mode. But when I hit start capture, it starts capturing the video. Stop capture works as expected. And note again, camera's in movie mode. So state works, info command works, but list camera options fails with the theta V while it's in movie mode. So the last thing I do is try to toggle HDR. And you can see in the console, I get a pretty big error message. So I'm not really sure what this is. I think it's a difference between the API with the SE2 and the V. Um, so as you can see, there's kind of a lot of differences, even with the most basic commands of the Theta SC2. One resource that I wanted to highlight for y'all is this website, data360.guide slash special slash SC2. I'll link it down in the description of this video. And what this is, is just a wealth of information for development with the SC2 and just the Theta cameras in general. We have extensive video tutorials, API tests, we test the firmware. And so I just wanted to walk you through some of the um, benefits of this site. So when you register, we have uh, the highlights is kind of this video tutorials that walks you through developing a mobile app with the Theta SC2. But we also have uh, our very own API guide, command line tests, and most importantly, workarounds for problems that we've noticed with the SC2. And so there's a lot of good content on this site, and we're constantly updating it. So I'd highly recommend going to the website in the description, registering for this. And as we find solutions for problems, we'll update you and update this page. And so it can just be a wealth of information where um, we can help you out with your project and you can uh, email us and let us know what problems that you're having that maybe we could try to solve. So go ahead. Uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, we'll see you in the next one.